Hello everyone watching on YouTube, my name is Chaos in the Sky, and welcome back to Persona 5. I am once again, as always, streaming. I got my lovely people in chat here who are going to be helping me out if I get super stuck and whatnot. Uh, we're going to be going back to Madarama's palace, where I believe I left off right at the entrance of it. So, let's get into it. By the way, I'm loving your Digimon series. It got me to buy next order. Dude, sick. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Digimon is an amazing franchise. I love it. And uh, that's what a lot of people who watch me uh, found me from, is Digimon specifically. Cass, does this mean you will have to go to the bathroom again? Probably at some point, but I will make it quick. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, by the way, really quickly before I continue, for those of you in Twitch chat, I've got something new that you guys kept asking for. There we go, Discord command. I have a Discord now if you'd like to join. So, be my guest. Found Chaos when I got Xenoblade Chronicles X. That is the other thing a lot of people know me from. Most people who watch my stuff know me from Digimon or Xenoblade, mainly. But alright, let's get in here. Hey. Ah, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Don't worry, I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. Why do you have a rope? What for? I want to know right now. What have you got that rope for, Morgana? Is it actually for being a phantom thief? I want to know. What's your call, Joker? Want to head inside? Let's do it. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Do you remember your Gatorade? Yes, I do have my Gatorade, and I might need a drink of it here in a second, actually. How suspicious. Throat is feeling a little dry, but anyways. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. What else would you have a rope for? Keep being innocent, Rift. <laughs> hey, this. It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. The palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Do we have to, though? Oh, anyway, wait a minute. I definitely need a Gatorade. <coughs> I feel like I got a just a continuous cough stuck in my throat now that I've started talking. All right, that feels better. Sorry about that. Imagine Chaos is that one friend who is always serious no matter what. Michael, am I that one friend who's always serious no matter what? Is that my role in, like, the friend group of you, me, Sly, and RTK? Because I don't think any of us are that one guy who's always serious. I don't know. I might be wrong. All right, let's check these out. What do we got going on? Hmm? Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age? What the heck? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings, too. I think there might be something important about them. Oh, you don't say. Not like this is, uh, freaky at all. Hey. Unsigned mug now belongs to me. That's right, I remembered to use third eye. Unheard of, I know. Something I almost always forget to do until chat reminds me. Curious about the other paintings, too? Come on, let's go look at the next room. Oh, I have to go to the next room. Hmm. Can't get through here yet. Rip. Uh, is this the guy who wants to paint on? Looks similar. Apparently not. Oh, this room. All right, this makes a lot more sense. Hello. This one has a full name. Okay. Another that's got the name and age on the plaque. Yeah, things are looking a little suspicious. Also, uh, these security devices that are currently not on, it seems. I have a feeling they'll be turning on on us in the near future. Can't help but feel. It's somewhere. Don't mind if I do just come over here and yoink this, thank you. Wait, can I not? I can't read that one? Okay, ah, there we go. Paintings are all over this museum palace. Yeah, it kind of makes sense since he's an artist. These all look so similar, even down to the composition. Okay. This one's got a name and an age. Yeah, they all do, I think. Seems that way. Look at this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Painting is the same way. It feels like it's staring at us. It's kind of creepy seeing all these people on the walls. Ah, well, you know, we're in a palace. This one has a name, too. Is this painting the same deal as all the rest? All right, I got it. There, there's got to be something specific I'm supposed to find. Go through here. 
Ah, cutscene. Hey. I thought you were gonna start actually talking for me. Found chaos through Digimon Dusk. That is my second favorite Digimon game after Hacker's Memory. Found him through the first Cyber Sleuth. Yeah, a lot of people know me through Digimon. Which is fine, because I love Digimon. How does a famous artist have so many styles and people not automatically suspect plagiarism? Ah, well, you know. This doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec! Damn it. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the one who was crap-talking Madarame? Sure is. Natsuhiko Nakanohara. I can say Japanese words, I swear. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Huh, this is quite the mystery. Alright, let's keep looking around for now. Never seen or played Persona, what's this about? Alright, I'm gonna give you the really quick rundown because this is a very confusing game. So basically what it is, is we are phantom thieves who are able to go into things called palaces, which are the distorted, like, distorted desires of an evil person's heart. And we have to uh, go through their palace and fight monsters, which are also like shadows, which are like evil personas. And uh, we have to defeat those and make our way to their treasure, take their treasure, and then we can change their heart to make them stop being a scumbag and turn into a good person. That's basically the premise in like its roughest form. Roughly. Chat can, chat can sort out a little better what it is if I've done it horribly. So there's even a painting of this dude in here. Yeah, man. A lot of paintings in here. This one has a full name. Alright, I think I can stop, like, interacting with all of these. Aha, another one of these, huh? Don't my uh- What? No way! Oh, it's this guy! But wait, I need to break that thing! Hey. Yes, I'm currently in a palace. If I'm wearing- if we're wearing the masks, that means we're in a palace. When we're not in the palace, when we're in just, like, the normal world, we don't have the masks on. That's how you can tell. Isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Uh, they're all Madarame's pupils? I think you're right. I'm always right. Is there stream delay? Probably, like... I don't know, five seconds of stream delay? Something like that? Here, I'll, I'll figure out right now. All right, on the count of three, I'm going to click nay, and you will see it uh, come in on chat. So three, two, one, nay. So that's about how much of a stream delay there is. I don't know how much there is, you guys will have to tell me. <coughs> stream delay can be different for different streamers depending on how good your internet is. That was five seconds? Yeah, I was right. How about that? <laughs> I'm always right. Oh, man. I think you're right. Of course I am. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Hmm. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further conform our deduct conform <laughs> confirm our deductions. What is chat? What is wrong with you? About twenty to twenty-five seconds for me because I'm on my phone. Yeah, it's your phone having trouble loading. I would assume above all else, that's how it is. All Madarami's former pupils are paintings. What does that tell us about his cognition? I don't know. You tell me. I want that chest. There seems to be some kind of pamphlet here. Hmm? What's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Uh, yeah, like the magical glowing right, chest over here. Chest. Joker, it's a treasure chest. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh. Ooh, I got three lockpicks. Let's go. Open sesame. It's been a minute since we got to open one of these bad boys. Training whip, pearl, and snuff soul. I do not like the sound of snuff soul. Is the training whip better than the leather whip? 
Yes, significantly so. Don't mind if I do. That is far better. Is this one also locked? No, it isn't. Sick. How do we make a fanfic of chaos? Please no. <laughs> I opt out. I actually refuse. All right, what do we got here? Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Well, this is highly convenient. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. Then the two out of... Wait. The two out of two's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? Ryuji, that's such a weird phrase. We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. You're welcome. I'm glad I chose to visit you, I guess. Okay, okay. Still no enemies, which is a little suspect. What is this about? Huh. Look at this. We must shank Madarame. I mean, I'm pretty much down for shanking anyone that has a palace. They all seem like scumbags. Uh, no, we're not writing fanfics right now in chat. I disagree heavily. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. Not all palace users are scumbags? Well, I don't know that yet. I've only got two points of reference and they've all been scumbags. So I guess we'll see. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Yo, dude. Let's do this. But also, I want to know what you all think. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. I mean, like, I only have experience from Kamashita's palace, but I think I've got enough evidence right here. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, well, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. We in this, boys.
In previous Personas, the palace owners weren't all scumbags. In fact, a lot weren't. I guess I'll have to play the other Persona sometime. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Got ah, text message. What's up? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. Yet, what do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashita. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that scum. Alright, let, yeah, let's just see how Yusuke feels. You're a meshi! Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Why can't they just shoot everyone? <laughs> okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Because our goal isn't to just, like, we're not trying to kill the people that we're trying to, uh, defeat. We're trying to change their hearts so that we can turn them into good people instead of just murdering them. Which normally isn't my go-to when dealing with villains, but that's how it goes in this game. Alright, cat, are you making me go to bed? Can I go do stuff? Hey. You dumb cat. What about this? Can I do this? I hate this cat. Can I do this? Nice. Oh my goodness, this cat! Well then. This cat. Yeah, guns are illegal in New York. No one uses guns in New York. Yo. That's crazy talk. We're trying to whip them. Flair, why do you have to be like this? Hey, it's me. I just can't forgive Madarame, but what An said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? To be fair, palaces are places of cognition created by distorted desires, so just because something is alluded to in a palace can't be considered evidence of the crime itself. Strongly suggests that the crime has indeed taken place. That's why Morgana said you'd need to investigate further. But I don't want to do that. I just want to go beat people up. <laughs> Jonathan, how's it going, man? Glad to see you. Chaos, when will you upload the Spider-Man DLC? Today. Literally today. In an hour and 20 minutes. All right. Uh, probably. I knew it. I'm gonna make him pay. It ain't like he thinks it is. Ticks me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while crappy adults do whatever they want. Try putting stuff on the shelf the next time you get a chance? Will do. Did the stream from yesterday go up? What was yesterday? Explorers of Sky? I upload Explorers of Sky throughout the week, so there will be one video uploaded every day until Saturday. With them while they're hanging? Chat, I'm starting to worry about you. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take them down, don't worry. Aw, yeah. Oh, yeah! Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Seriously. See, See you tomorrow. Alright, good talk, good talk. Cat, get off my bed. We get in a velvet room, or are we just gonna move to the next day? Our percentage is still, like, hovering around 6%. We need more? 